I had a great question come in. A very good friend hit me with a question and it moved me and I want to share it with you now. Question was, the friend asked, how long does it take for the sting of a separation to go away? How long does it take for the sting of a separation to go away? I want to answer that question with another question. How long does it take for you to look in the mirror and see the true beauty that is within you? How long does it take for you to forgive someone else's road rage? Maybe they cut you off. Maybe they called you out of your name. You know. How long does it take for you to believe that you are worthy of love? That you are worthy of everything you truly are and everything you have in your life? How long does it take for you to believe that you deserve everything you have? The answer to all those questions is the same. However long it takes, whenever you're ready. How long does it take for the sting of a separation to go away? I told her it could be months. It could be years. It might not ever go away. Or it could be weeks, maybe a few days. It could be right now. The sting of a separation, being in a relationship with somebody and then having space there can hurt when your life has grown into a mold with someone else's and then you're pulled apart. It feels like a part of you is missing. And that happens. It's a natural thing. You know, we get into relationships and we lose sight of ourselves. We merge into one. We forget about who we are truly outside of the context of husband, wife, spouse, father, parent. You know what I mean? We, we attach to these labels, but in a, within those labels, we lose sight of who we are, of the I, you know? And you have a choice every moment. Every breath. Is another opportunity. It is the breath of life. Every time you take another breath, you have another opportunity to do something differently or to keep doing something the same. You have the opportunity to do because you are still here. If you want this thing of a separation to go away, make it go away. Don't feel bad about it. Don't feel anger towards it. Realize that you are not your emotions. Realize that just because you feel anger, just because you experience loneliness, jealousy, sadness, do not identify with them. These feelings come and go like the clouds in the sky. They do not define who you are. Be aware of them. Take notice of the emotions you're feeling are perfectly natural. When we go through big life changes, it's uh, it it makes you uncomfortable and uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable is a perfect time to start to look at yourself, to look inward and to ask yourself some deep questions, some hard questions you might not have been asking yourself in a relationship. Having space away from somebody, whether they hurt you or not, is a perfect opportunity to be with yourself, to discover yourself, to know thyself. So take the time, take the time to meditate, write, read, to journal, to do a vision board, to do mirror work, to have deep and meaningful conversations, to love for joy. Take the time to do the things that make you happy. Follow your path towards your truth. And through that, there will be no sting of a separation. There will be no hard feelings towards somebody's road rage. Look in the mirror and realize that everything you need, you think you need in the future, you have all of that right now. It is simply paying attention, bringing awareness to what is already within you. So be grateful 
That's another key. Be grateful for every moment that you have. Don't look back on past decisions and regret. Be grateful. Have gratitude. Yeah, it might not have been perfect. Nothing in life is perfect, but it, it is. It is beautiful. It is messy. It is ugly. It is great. It is everything. It just is. Be happy with what you have in front of you. Accept every single moment as it comes. That is the only way. Don't judge. Don't identify. Don't attach. Just look at what is in front of you and smile.